In today's video, I open a box worth 100 English pounds. Wow. Ooh. Is that? We got there, chat. Seven dollars. Fill me up, Captain. I'm ready to blow. But first. It's a me, Sonic. Oh my god, guys, today is such a great day to be a Pokemon fan because Paldea Evolved is released. Are you excited? I'm, I'm a little bit excited. I'm being a little bit sad on it because all Pokemon creators seem to be really like overly positive. Probably, you know, to appeal to children. This video is not for children. I'm gonna talk about foreign fiscal policy and my own hemorrhoids. In today's video, I am opening this. It's a Paldea Evolved booster box. I've got a box to open. I've got this that will probably just be in a follow-up video. If, if you enjoy this one, I'll do another. And this, all the way from Japan. Thanks, John. My name is Vince. I'm also as pleasant can I be on the internet. And this is PK's Pokemon Gym, where I'll be uploading all sorts of Pokemon shit, box openings, card stuff, and also probably video game related things too, because I'm getting back into it. It's like reliving my childhood just with less disappointment from my parents. You might remember me from such videos as opening the Key Martin cards, bees, and several videos about Helium Squirter. So I've been playing a load of the online client, um, and I've been uh, trying to collect Scarlet and Violet at the moment. I think I'm gonna master set Scarlet and Violet simply because it's my set that I return to the game with. I wanna do it from a memory, like a memoriam. Memoriam? No one's died. But you know, to remember what it's like to get back in and feel the joy of opening Pokemon cards again. Also, I really like opening boosters of Pokemon compared to other card games that won't be mentioned that I might have a channel about elsewhere because everything's in one booster. I'm really keen just to open one singular booster and be in with a chance of opening something fancy instead of having to spend 20 to 30 pounds on a lottery ticket. So we're getting one of the cool Vault X um, binders and trying to finish Scarlet and Violet completely. Whether or not I try and master set this by getting every card, I don't know. My background is that I'm returning to Pokemon after 30 years of not being into the hobby. That's right, I collected, I say 30, 25 years. I collected, I'm not giving you my codes by the way, they're staying with me. Wow, this is really frayed already. I hope my Pokemon got, oh, it's just that one. I collected originally, was it four to the front? Fuck, I'm not gonna finish this anecdote until I get there. Did I do it right? Well, there's our foil. A Mesmer Rare. I absolutely fucked the trick where you put cards to the front, but that is an alternate art. 199 and 193, so that's a secret rare, as they call it. That's a Fletch Finder, and it is gorgeous. The alternate stadium or alternate style rares in this set are beautiful. Oh, God. I just love seeing Pokemon do things like sit by campfires or be like being walked like a dog. Seeing them do like normal animal things. Is that weird? Oh, okay. So we got... <laughs> Yeah, let's go. Pack one. Pack one, pick one, I was about to say. Pack one. We got ourselves an, uh, an alternate art Fletch Finder, and we got a Pikachu EX, and that is everything. I'm checking the rest of the pack, but I'm a dum-dum. And I, we, got, we got a foil Corvus Squire there as well, which we're going to put in the box. I'm not collecting the whole set, so I don't need, need to worry about foils that aren't playable. So anyway, 25 years later, I used to collect back in the day. When base set was a thing, I collected Magic first, and I collected Pokemon cards, because any trading card game got me hot under the collar. Back when, you know, the milk it was free and Freddo's were only 50p. Okay, I fucked it last time. Let's see how deep we gotta go. So, one, uh, foil, foil. Oh, Muscara EX straight in there. Another EX. So there was one card at the back. I think it depends upon the, the actual printing and the country you're at. Someone explain the card trick in the in the comments to me, or watch me just get it all right this time. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this in the in the words of some 90s singer-songwriter that I don't know? There's the energy on the front. See? Done. Magic Carp. So I'm, I'm gonna be collecting Magic Carps too. Magic Carps and Gyarados are gonna be going into folders. I'm gonna collect every single Magic Carp and every single Gyarados that's ever existed. Jet Energy, Fighting Alalet, Alate, I don't know, my boss Tiff, Foil Jet Energy, sweet, Foil Pikachu, sweet, and an Orthworm, Chunky Boy, 130 HP, and if this Pokemon has three or more energy attached to it, this, uh, the, the Steel Energy, it gets plus 100 HP, that's a 230 HP Thick Worm, baby! So yeah, I used to, I used to collect and play Pokemon back before we declared war on Iraq the second time, just to really give it a topical edge that children don't want to hear. Slack off. Kufum, Krogunk, Rookie D, 
Bombardier, Skiploom, Dendra. Oh, the alternate art versions of this are worth a bit of money. Rocky D, Gikomo, whoop, and a Tyranitar. Not the alternate art and an energy. So I did mention earlier that the milk was free when I used to collect Pokemon as a kid. It wasn't. Margaret Thatcher had actually uh, stolen the milk prior to the, my my birth, I believe, actually. That happened way before my time. Tandemouse. This is one of my favourite of the uh, the new Pokemon. I think it's just adorable. I like cute Pokemon and cool Pokemon. Gyarados being my favourite, hence the Magic Cup collection. Loving Tandemouse. Tandemouse, Fukoko, Nakli, Salt Mine, eh? Uh, Set Hoddle, I haven't seen this yet. I've only just started playing Scarlet and Violet. So the cards actually revealing Pokemon to me that I've never seen before. Vigoroth, Pinkurin, Pichurin, Crocolore. That is actually my start. So that's what my start is currently evolved to. Start of the game a week and a half ago. Lavatar, Bravery Charm in Foil, poorly playable. And a Lockix, which is the... Fuck knows. It evolves from a Cricket. Okay, our first couple of packs were really shit hot. And now we're we're slowing down. But they can't all be hits. It can't all be good value. If you want to see me talk about codes and the Pokemon on live service, there'll be a video on my other channel, on Pleasant Kenobi, next week where I compare Arena and Magic to what it can learn from Pokemon. Slowpoke, Litleo, Rockruff, Poor Me. Love Poor Me. That's what in my team at the moment as well. The evolved version of Poor Me. So adorable. Quaxwell. I do like the big bouffant hair thing, but it's a bit Disney for my liking. Saguaro, uh, Farigurirath, a foil delivery drone. That's right. This is what our, our future looks like if Amazon gets its way. A foil Sneasel and a Slacking with a leaf energy in the back. Not the best. Yeah, the new starters. I'm not hot on them. I really not. I don't think Weed Cat is much of a, like a, you know, the, the slam dunk that everyone else seems to think it is. Magnemite, Phalanx, Combi. Love this Pokemon too. Jigglypuff. My wife is really rubbed off on me. I love cute Pokemon now. Jigglypuff's in my team as well. Palosan. I didn't know there's a Sandcastle Pokemon. That is new to, <laughs> that is news to me. That's incredible. Uh, Raichu. Gothiel, Tropius, Superior Energy Retrieval, which was actually my nickname in high school, and Luxray. One of my least favorite things that people go on about is how like um, Pokemon used to always be animals. It's gonna be a whole video that I do in the end because the original 150, like 20% of them are fucking Pokeballs and bits of metal and fucking all sorts of nonsense. A, a, a pile of cum is one of them. There's no way you can claim that that has changed in modern day. Our first pack being an old art and a Pikachu EX has kind of got my hopes up and now we're flagging in the middle. We're flagging in the middle. Right, we've seen all these before. Oh, Sandgast. Oh, it's a ghost. That's amazing. Ghost Sandcastle, I'm into it. Tarantula, Zuelios, Spidops, Pyroar. Deli Bird, making sandwiches at your local Tesco for you. Love Disc, pretty sure I've seen those for sale online on some nefarious websites. Gimora and a Psychic Energy. Never seen Gimora either before. Is Love Disc the most like sex toy name of all the Pokemon? Is there a more sex toy sounding one? There's definitely some more sexy ones, like Geodude. I got a joke for you. What did the Geodude say to the other Geodude? Go on. Have a go. What do you reckon? Type in the comments down below what you think the punchline to this joke's gonna be. If you're on the Discord, don't say a fucking word. Mikey, shut up. Glimora again. Ooh, and a foil or a choreo. Double, double, double rare, double rare. So what did the Geodude say to the other Geodude? Well, it said Geodude, of course, because, well, Pokemon can only say their names, guys. Gyrophoric, Hopip, Great Ball, Tropius, Arctibax, Gyrkokomo, Talonflame, Snowva. It's actually quite, quite an interesting thing to try and say these things quickly. Luminous Energy, which looks like it's going to be quite good. And foil. Ah, and we got a foil. Full art. I'm not going to show you that code. That's mine. Oh, no. Don't read it. <laughs> Don't look. Don't look. Anyway, game more excited about the code than I am the alternate arts. Let's go. Giacomo, baby. That's a $7 pre-order ultra rare right there. The funny thing about Pokemon is that everything pre-orders for way too much fucking money. Like that will not be $7 in a couple of weeks, right? I've seen friends sell cards on set release for silly money, and then those cards end up being like worth a dollar because they're not as rare as everyone thinks. I'm not going to read every Pokemon name I see, especially got duplicates. Uh, foil, whatever this does. I never read this. Once during each player's turn, the player must search their deck for a basic Pokemon that doesn't have a wall box and put it onto their bench. Whew. That seems generally quite decent if you are not playing EX and V Pokemon. Uh, Clavel and a foil boss's orders. Okay. Well, it's cool to get foil playables, I guess, but it, it, it's a rare, so I think it's always foil. I'm not even sure. So we've got two secret rares so far and two EXs. So I even know that's good odds. Tell me in the comments if you think we're in a good spot at the, the, the one third way mark. Spidops, Pyroar, 
done sparse before. Apparently this is a fan favorite. I don't really know why. It's such a, it's kind of cute, I guess. Shinx, a foily Gyarados. Of course, this is a rare, so it's always foil, but that's good. I've got the Gyarados from this set now. Um, that's my magic, that's it. We can go home, everybody. I've got the Magikarp and the Gyarados. I'm going to my first Pokemon tournament on Sunday. And last night I ordered an extra Veg Vegilecki VMAX by accident instead of ordering the forest tome that I needed. So now I'm a card down from my full deck list. Bramblin, Shinx, Nimble, Mastiff, Dundon Sparse, fuck it up, Persimian, Corviknight, Foil Therapeutic Energy, Foil Litleo, and we've got a Copper Raja. EX. I've not even seen this Pokemon yet, but another elephant is always welcome in my home. This is the full art version, right, of the EX? That's right, kids. That's the ultra rare version of that car. I'll take it. I'll take an ultra rare from a pack. I do want some more of these, though. I get more excited about the, the Pokemon doing the shopping or, like, carrying a bucket full of water or whatever the fuck it is they're doing here than I do about, like, most of the full art EXs, if I'm honest, because I only really care about the ones I'm playing in that regard, or if I'm completing the set, which I'm probably not for this. There's Mousehold, another absolute favorite from the current generation of Pokemon. Oh, can you play normal and gym leader challenge? Maybe I should do that and just play all the cutest normal Pokemon. Tinkertuff, Makutia, Dino, and a Mimic You. Okay, I do want one of these. I think it's, it's got to be playable, right? But an all damage to Dunce's Pokemon from attacks from your opponent, opponents, X and V Pokemons, mean that it can just tank the biggest, chunkiest kids and survive. I'm into it. Always makes me laugh that there are Pokemon that look like other Pokemon but aren't that Pokemon. Like Mimic You has no relationship to Pikachu, of course. And now I've got like a Wigglet, haven't we? Which is Diglett, but it looks like a water eel. Frogavato, Mousehold, Tinkertuff, Mankey, Faulkner and Foil. <sighs> Dedene EX. Sick. Oh, that is a cool foil. What is it? Is that? Oh, it's because it's crystalline. It's turtleized or whatever the fuck the term is. That's cool. So believe it or not, this is the normal looking version of this. And I'm not a big fan of some of the trims of the normal EXs, if I'm honest. I think they're a bit over the top like this stuff down here. But this foiling with all the crystalline stuff because it's a terastalized or whatever the term is. I think it can't take damage on the, on the bench. Yeah, something like that. It's got, it's got an in-game folk thing. That's really cool. Makes you laugh that's, that's just the normal version of that rare. That's sick. So at the moment I'm playing Miraidon EX in uh, my normal deck. Oh, let's get rid of that shit. My standard deck, should I say. It's not normal, it's electrical type. <laughs> Lakutia, Pinchur, and Dano. What did the magic up say to the other magic up? Magikarp, Heracross, Kilowattrol, Azumarill. Oh, I haven't finished my Magikarp collection from this set because I need foil Magikarp, don't I? Azure Fletchling, Calamitous Wasteland. Oh, I love being a Wasteland. Spirit Tomb. I think that's going to be part of a meta deck, isn't it? Where um, basic Pokemon V in play, both yours and your opponents have no abilities. Turns off a lot of V Pokemon stuff in the current meta game. It's like there's an attrition deck, that and... The thing that's got a bowl for a head. It looks like a soup bowl um, for a Pokemon. Hormo, Gothorita, Honchcrow, Dendra, Gothita. There we go, another EX. Not bad, not bad. Palladian Clodshire. So this is the, um... Wait, I thought that thing evolved into Wobbuffet. Isn't it? Learning with Pleasant Kenobi. <laughs> Tell me in the comment section below, if you've stumbled across this video and you're new here, or you're from the Poke or the Magic Channel, to be fair, tell me, oh, so fucking cute. That's adorable, I love it. Um, Tell me if you actually play. I'm very interested to know if people play that come across these videos, you know? Abominus Snow. In foil. I need to stop saying in foil. All rares are foil, Vince. Shut the fuck up. Have you played? Would you like to play? Have you considered playing? I think the game's actually really fun right now. Tandem Mouse Ray. Yeah, Weed Cat. Like, that's got nothing on Bulbasaur, all right? I mean, yeah, I'm drawing battle lines right now. Chikorita and Bulbasaur are way better, but I am into, like, frogs and turtles more than I am cats, I guess. Classic Magnemite. Pormo, love a bit of Pormo. Gotharita, Fletch Rider. Hooray! We got the alternate art or whatever. It was. What are the fuck are these called? I'm just going to call it a special rare or special art of Tinker Tink. Uh, put an item card from your discard pile into your hand as an attack ability, which isn't the best thing in the game, but there it is. It's just chilling, holding a rock. Foiling is gorgeous on this thing. Uh, my rare was Glimora. I've just adjusted my microphone a little bit, so I'm sorry if the sound has changed. Next pack, though. I just love smashing through boosties, you know? I used to love doing this with Magic before they added, like, multiple other booster types. If you don't play Magic, I'm sorry, I'm going to mention as a comparison a lot because I play a lot of Magic, but they... Oh, if only it was the... I don't know in the um, alternate frame ones is one of the chase rares of the set. Voltorb and Foil. Tandem Mouse in Foil. Hydreigon. And an energy. A whiff. But yeah, if you don't know, they have three booster types. They have collector, they have set, and they have draft. 
and you've just got to put up with it. And you can't really open much cool stuff in the main boosters anymore, so they're kind of like boring to collect and to open. It's just not very exciting. This Insta Flock is cool from Flamingo, Arctobax. Ah, oh, yep, yeah, baby! That's one of the chase rares, although I think it has to be in the alternate frame to be worth any money, but it's still a powerful card, apparently. The thing about Pokemon is even though it's like a super playable rare that people are excited about and chasing after a little bit, it's still only like sub $10 because that's how Pokemon works. All the alternate expensive arts are worth more, where with Poke Magic, we've gone to try and be more collectible with all the alternate frames and art styles, but Shieldred is still 60 or 70 bucks, even in its most basic form, which really sucks. There's another sex toy. Primeape, Grusha. Oh, here's something I want to talk about. I love this art style too. I love where they've done like a model or if they've sewn or knitted, crocheted a version of the Pokemon. So here we can see that this model, whatever they've made of it, is reflecting in the water as well, making it feel part of its environment. I just love that art style. Tinker Tough and Tinker Tom. Oh, so Tinker Tink, Tinker Tough, Tinker Tom right there, right in frame. Tinkerton's ability is pretty cool as well. You must have got a card from your hand to use his ability once during each turn, you may draw three cards. That seems like it's gonna be definitely playable in some decks. It's got a card, draw three cards. That's kind of, isn't that better than Radiant Greninja? I've just realized that I spent money on my my Radiant Greninjas and they might just not be playable anymore because Tinkerton might just be better in the deck that I'm playing. Might add that to my deck for tomorrow. Uh, what have we got in this pack then? Chat, a Luxray. Oh, we already hit that. So from a completionist perspective, we don't need it. And from a gameplay perspective, I don't think we need it either. And that's the two axes on which Pokemon lives, or evolves, if you will. Combi, Jigglypuff, Gurafurig, Tropius, Bombardier, Skip Bloom, Dendra, Kuffan. I feel like I'm doing the Pokemon rap here. Uh, Tarantula, and a Veluza. Fuck. All right, this pack, I can smell it. It's gonna be good. Give me the fucking money. I don't even know what the money is. I guess the money, oh, fuck my ordering up. Put that in there, back to it. Put that over there. I guess I just want the uh, super secret trainer cards, the waifu cards. Uh, nope. I guess if I don't collect Powder Evolve, I don't know how to master set it. I can use the Powder Evolve that I open now to sell off and to trade into the full collection of the original Scarlet and Violet set, which is probably the best way to do it. You shouldn't try and master set things as they first come out. Holy Ooh. shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that? Is. We got there, chat. 17 whole dollars. Fill me up, Captain. I'm ready to blow. That was a lot of excitement. I literally, I think I came in my pants. Let's see if we can hit one more big hit. Oh, 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 oh. Look at all the foils. Not only did we get Arctobax in its alternate art, we also got, and this is the fucking crown jewel, baby, a Magikarp and foil, completing my Magikarp collection. We did it. We fucking did it. Yeah, baby! I really hope you were watching this with a loved one and they heard that and they've turned around and they're looking at you now and they're like, what the fuck are you watching? So yeah, the Arctobax is like doing a roly-poly or some shit. I actually don't know what's going on with that thing. I don't even know what it is. I actually have no idea what I'm looking at. But on the upside, yeah. I like the foiling, even the generic stuff. Look at that. Are there two types of foil for every card? Is there a reverse hollow and a normal hollow? There's not, is there? Into the rare pile you go, Magic Up. Into the rare pile you go. That's it, we've done it, chat. We've done it. Okay, here we go. We've still got a lot of packs left and I've hit some, I've hit some of the good shit now. I've hit some of the good shit now. I can't go over how fucking frayed these are. No one cares. They get in the bin once you've used them, but keep scaring me that my cards are damaged. Oh, I'm on a roll. I'm on a roll. Oh, look, it's the thing that it goes from cute into like Beedrill's mum. Imagine going into Beedrill's, coming into Beedrill. Anyway, Weevil, this video is not for children. Stop it. Oh, I'm sweating like a bitch in heat right now. I really am. If you didn't know, it's like a thousand degrees in the UK. And to film this, I've closed the window for better sound quality. So I am a moist papa. Pokemon just makes me happy, which is something you need in your life, right? Oh, a jump luff. I've never seen that before. That's cute. If damage is done to this Pokemon by an attack, flip a coin, if heads prevent that damage. 50% of the time, you can't hurt it. That's gotta be, I don't know. I guess it's inconsistent. Flipping coins is not where you want to be in a competitive game. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, Holy shit, son. Shit. I saw this and went straight to it. So we got, we got the thick, chunky worm that looks like a penis in foil. Did we get that in foil earlier? They're all foil, Vince, because they're, they're rares. You fucking twat. Well, I didn't think this was going to be the fifth most expensive card in the set right now, but it is at 30 fucking bucks, baby. Look at that. It is nice. It is really nice. 
Oh, that's a big hit. I should be overreacting more, but I'm just too fucking warm. It's cool though. The foiling does look good on these things, doesn't it? Look at that. Look at that foiling. Fuck. I'm filming in 4K. So you can get all the best foil. I'll probably downscale it to 1080p, but it means that everything looks good. Fun fact, whilst I recorded in 4K, it does appear my codex was set up incorrectly, or some of my settings were set up incorrectly. That's why the footage doesn't look as good as it should. I'll fix that for the next one, I promise. Fuck, I can't believe I didn't overreact at the best hit. I'm a bad poker tuber. Magic up, sorry mate, we got, but we go, we don't need magic ups anymore. We're just looking for real fucking money here. Not you, you cunt. We're down to our last five packs comment section. Can I get another godly poll? I think my box has been pretty fucking good. Two or three of these, two Giacomo's, both the lower end one and the higher end one, the boss's orders. I mean, I wouldn't say no to an Iona at this point. Not Iona the angel from magic, but Iona the, uh, the waifu. Kurajal, sword hand man. Okay, next up, what we got? What we saying? What we saying over here? Chat and comment section. I'm not showing that code no matter how much you ask. We are down to the final. Come on, give me a fucking alternate out of that. Is that so much to ask? It is quite greedy, actually. My box has been so good. If I open, oh, I love poor mop. Fighting electric tile, let's go. If we open nothing else of value, it's fine. But I would like a little treat at the end for sitting here and sweating my balls off and at least being trying to be slightly amusing for you at home. I deserve it. Huh, we opened the unevolved form of the last thing we opened as the first card of the next pack. That's kind of cool. What is this, Palapa? I've seen that, yeah, Flogorato and the Evolved Salt Mine. <laughs> it's like the magic player card. Am I right? Because you're all a bunch of salty cunts. Second from last pack. Second from last pack. What are we saying? What are we doing? Are we hype? Are we not hype? I've just dropped cards everywhere. Off screen. Don't worry. Fucking love Jigglypuff. Where's Jigglypuff EX? There's a Wigglytuff EX in this set, right? I want that. Abominable Snow. And wow, double rare pack. Abominable Snow and the Salt Mine. That's basically a magic player. Am I? Last pack. Come on, one more full art trainer. I don't care which one it is. I just want more value out of this box. I want to extract more of the endorphin rush you get by opening bits of cardboard that people pay way too much money on the internet for. Rockruff, Poor Me, Lavatar, Sandygast, Heracross, Kilowattro, Azumarill, Foil Saguaro, Ace Cube. Now, before I reveal the last card, have you subscribed yet? Because if you haven't, you're a prick. Ah, uh, the Bax Calibur. I didn't know that was a ma Pokemon name, but it's a cool Pokemon name. I like it. In this box, we got a stack of rares that I'm not gonna talk about too much over here. We got the foily magic card that I wanted, so I've completed my magic up in Gyarados from this set. I've then got three uh, special artist illustration alternate art, full art, Pokemon doing Pokemon things in the Pokemon world, and I love them. I love them. We got one, two, three, four, five, six EXs, which ain't bad, right? One sick for the box was EX Pokemon over standard Pokemon 2 prize, fancy Pokemon with splashy borders. One of those EXs was the ultra rare full art version. And then the creme de la creme is we've got three full art trainers. I don't think that's the full term. I think this is full art and these are special illustration rare of them doing things. And in this case, boss's orders appears to be the fifth most expensive card in the set. The two Ionos coming in the first slots, Dendra, Shen uh, Power in uh, EX alternate ultra rare special illustration version, and then this. So honestly, as far as boxes go, I've opened three Pokemon boxes in the last 25 years. This is probably the best one out of those three, if I'm honest. Well, I did open the most expensive card from Sword and Shield at the time, which was around this price of $40, not Sword and Shield, sorry, a Scarlet and Violet, which was around this price point of $40. And that would have been the price that stabilized and I got into it later after the set had been released. Where at the moment, prices are super inflated. I doubt this will always be 30 bucks. I think it will crash after the set has opened and things are sold online. This booster box cost me over a hundred pounds, which I could have spent on a dental appointment because you know, Brits have bad teeth, ha <laughs> ha. Or I could have maybe spent it on some ointment for my hemorrhoids. You were not expecting that callback, were you? If you enjoyed the video and you want to see more content like this from me, including talking about the card game, opening the card game, talking about the games in general, and just getting back into Pokemon as another thing not from my youth, then smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Don't worry, more Warhammer content is coming to over in the War Room. And if you want to see just more card game and collectible content in general, uh, Pleasant Kenobi is my main channel where I talk primarily about magic, but all sorts of other shit. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you've enjoyed me just being a child and opening booster packs and shouting about hemorrhoids or whatever. I'll see you in the next video. Ta-ta for now.